Finally almost ma back into Masters. Very nice. Right now we're doing a little unboxing here, Brandon. Got a figurine. The box ain't in the best condition, not gonna lie. To you. Yeah, the fucking pen just dominates this. So that's why we got the big screen of the webcam there. Okay. So the box is definitely not the greatest condition. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucked up. Yeah, I'm just hoping the actual figure. So this is what we got here, team. Nice rem figure. Figure. It's definitely pretty scuffed. I feel like I'm not doing. Then yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that. I guess we'll go with this. Yeah. So, like, the box is actually like just kind of destroyed. So I'm really hoping there's no broken stuff here it's actually like a pretty big figurine i uh, like maybe maybe not so we got like all the stuff is just like i guess a three piece figurine looks not too bad so i guess we'll open this bad boy up God. I've always wanted to get into like figurines and stuff. It's just that's a lot of money. Like the ones that I want are like the fucking real expensive ones and cuz like I want ones that look like really well. I Ooh, this feels pretty nice. Like this has some weight to it. Like it's not like, you know, some cheap for some reason it has like a little scuff. A little bit of like, I don't know, debris. But it's like, looks pretty solid. Here's the head. <clears throat> looks real nice. It's just the best, yeah. No, definitely, like, it, it, like, just this part alone has, like, a good amount of weight to it, which, which feels real nice. A little bit, a little bit weird on the hair, but, you know, I, I didn't pay that much for this. I just got it off of Amazon, actually. But, it, like, shipped from, like, China, so it took, like, a month to get here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, yeah, definitely the bottom doesn't feel as heavy. I don't know why there's like markings on this, like that's kind of weird. Model, I can see some like like weird lines and stuff, but like I said, it's not like it's not supposed to like it's not like a five hundred dollar like figurine kind of thing, right? But um, it looks pretty pretty solid. Put that on. And then, here we go. Got this. Nice figurine. It's the bottom half of it. Let's focus. Okay. 
I do that like hand thing actually let me just fucking do this with the box uh that ain't working um I think it was like 30 bucks or so let me check it wasn't that much it just took like a while to get here because you know it came from China All right, well, you do that, Matt. Good luck. Hopefully it doesn't destroy you that much. Okay, it was $38. Yeah, 38. Yeah, and like it looks like I don't know, there's some parts of the hair that look kind of kind of weird. I don't know if I can show, I can like show it, yeah, what the fuck. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a line, like going across her hair, like unnaturally, like it's from, um, it's like from whatever they use to like make it kind of thing. It looks really nice, I don't know, what the fuck. Yeah, I don't know why there's like shit like on this. Like, it's just like unnatural, like like black and brown. Looks pretty nice. Uh, here, let me get out the final part. It's a nice little, f you know, it's soccer uh, petal or like flower and. Um, oh. One hour later. All right. Well, after finally figuring out how to put um, put her on her stand, I found it out you can actually just uh, kind of like spread those legs, <laughs> and um, and yeah, then it fits in the holes that uh, were little feet pegs are supposed to go and I believe you could probably switch it up too because there's three peg holes there's like one in the middle there um but yeah I would definitely give this a um solid like 8 out of 10 um maybe even a 7 just given on like kind of the like little imperfections with I don't know like random like I don't know color I don't think you can really see it it's like around here can kind of see it I think but yeah it's like it's really weird I don't know how that happened there's some on her like uh, on her like kimono and stuff but um, like still for what 3850 um, Canadian that is too um, on Amazon uh, I'll put a link below but uh, I really do feel like if you want to get into some uh, figurines and stuff and, uh, and you want like a pretty nice quality one, I feel like this is a pretty good start. Um, like it's not going to like break the bank. It's um, like it's actually a decent quality and it's made by Tahoe, I believe is the toy company and it's an official license. Um, uh, figurine too but uh, yeah unfortunately the box definitely got like completely destroyed here um really unfortunate i was hoping they would have actually put it in another box instead of just letting this box get like destroyed on its trip from china to canada <laughs> which is uh very unfortunate but uh at least the figurine made it so yeah it's very nice i'll give you guys a little bit of a little close-up shots here of her that could make this yeah she looks really nice um as you can see and then her um little pedestal definitely they cheaped out quite a bit on this um yeah it's just kind of like normal plastic i guess you could say like cheap plastic um yeah but like it uh it's pretty sturdy like you know I can like drop it and it won't like topple over kind of thing as you can see so yeah it's like really nice I'll give you a little bit more shots of it 
And like this, her like uh, sleeves of her kimono, it's uh, nicely textured. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera will focus, but uh, yeah, it's like really nicely textured. I feel like the upper body of this was where like most of the money went into, which is definitely shown. Um, I'm sorry for being a scuffed uh, cameraman. Yeah, like it looks really nice. Like all top of her kimono, it's all like textured and stuff, and like the sleeves, uh, flow like flowing in the wind. I guess you could say is um, they're pretty heavy, yeah. And then like the bottom, the legs are pretty flexible, like not insanely flexible as where you know she'll topple over. As you can see, you know she's like shaking her pretty hard, and oh god, okay. Well, I guess the feet pegs are a little bit uh. Not the greatest, but you know, they if you don't shake it around like a maniac like I do, uh you'd probably be fine. Um but yeah, really nice. Really well done for the money, especially. So um here's another look at her legs. Um sorry for being a little bit too bright. But yeah, and then uh here's like underneath her uh little skirt there the skirt is definitely i would have really liked it to be like kind of like the same plastic as the top but uh you can definitely tell that they kind of just wasted like not wasted they used most of their money for the top and then yeah but it's a really nice figure channel 10 would definitely recommend uh picking up one if you like rem or if you want to get into some more anime figurines like i do but yeah, so um, that's about it. Let me know if you guys, uh, I guess, want me to review any uh, more figurines. I'm not really, like, huge into figurines. I just like them. <laughs> to have a passion for them, even though this is my first one. But still, I definitely got to get myself a Hestia one, though. But uh, that's in good due time. <laughs> yeah. I got this one off of Amazon again. I'll send the uh, link in the description below. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys you enjoy. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.